Two years ago, Maria had four of her children taken from her care. You see, her fiancé, David, was accused of suffocating their daughter, causing her to cough up blood when the child was only five months old. And just two months later, he was accused of touching her other daughter. Now, Maria is being accused of knowing about the abuse, and her relatives, PJ and Fia, said she should never get her kids back. Take a look. After having our own kids, and they're all, all grown, um, we had plans and ideas of what we wanted to do and with our free time. But that same week we made plans, was, our plans were changed drastically. I am here today because of four little children that I have in my care right now. That one was abused so bad that she was spitting up blood. I love my, my children to the fullest, dude. I, I, I can't stress enough that all this is BS. I have my niece's daughters, uh, Maria, uh, four of them, all girls. Apparently four month old was spitting up blood and uh, were having problem breathing. So they had taken the baby to the emergency at Children's Hospital. The lungs were, were filled with fluid. Also, the indication that uh, during the examination that someone had basically tried to suffocate the child. I'm here uh, being accused of suffocating one of my children. Because of these accusations, my children were taken by the state. The children are now placed with Maria's family. David was the one that was accused at the time. Maria was accused as an accomplice. So they're trying to say that Maria is trying to take the rap for me. Another one of Maria's daughter accused David of inappropriate behavior and touching sexually. Two months later, I was accused of sexually uh, molesting my daughter. I believe the child. Her story has not changed since she came to us. I believe Maria is protecting David. At the emergency room, she made a statement that some of the staff who uh, work at the hospital, the emergency room, heard her say that she'll be willing to take the fall for him. Obviously, she was going to be protecting him. He was investigated and was given the opportunity to take the polygraph, but he denied it. So the state wanted me to do a polygraph test, and I didn't necessarily refuse. I wanted my attorney there for me. So Maria was constantly moving. She basically chose her own needs over the kids. And in order for her to get the kids back at the time, all she had to do was leave him, but she chose not to. Me and her came down to the conclusion we work better as a unit. I think that David, he's a definite danger to the girls. I'm here today to prove my innocence. I'm not a monster. I'm not an aggressor. I'm not an angry person. What we think should happen then we should have total custody of the kids to make sure that they never get put in harm's way again. Once I prove everybody wrong, I want my children back as quickly as possible because I'm not the aggressor that anybody thinks I am. I ain't the monster. I'm here to make sure that the children never end up in their care, Maria their mother, and David their father, ever again. When it comes to protecting innocent young children who can't defend for themselves, that becomes my priority. PJ, that's your father and your cousin's fiance? Yeah. On the yeah. tape. Um, you know, both have uh, very differing opinions about this story. <laughs> no, one has an opinion and one has facts. Then so. I'm guessing your father has the facts. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Your cousin has eight total children, right? Yep. Yeah. Four were taken away and they're gone forever. Mm -hmm. um, and then she has four more, mm -hmm. and those are with those children are with your father now, right? Yeah. So we have the four younger ones. Um, so she's got eight kids, and zero are in her custody. First off, I just want to say this, okay? Were you in Florida helping me take care of my kids? No, you wasn't. No, okay? and you were taking and you care of your own. Sorry, I don't no. try to judge. 
But not I'm going judging. to hear. Of course I'm going you to hear. Good for you. But you don't know me. Like you me. don't know me. You don't know me. Okay? You don't and know I don't. me. You I don't. Know. Know. My You're kids, going off of what I, people say. When I go home every night, lies. my kids are home. Period. And I'm raising okay? them. They were taken from me. So you love them. So what? What does that mean? What does that mean? I love my kids, but I, do I don't for feed them. them. Okay. I don't wash I don't? them. I don't pay for and them. And you don't? No, they're not they, mine. They, they, they do? No, they I don't. I take care of my they, kids. They live on state assistance. So don't sit here Whatever and tell me. Whatever they do, okay, you want that state assistance, is, they're the spending it on is, your kids. Okay, they don't want to accept money from me. Well, maybe That's not my but, fault. Well, maybe okay, there's a reason so why. So I buy them presents. You get in the bed buy with, you know, clothes, dogs. And I what? buy them stuff when I go and visit them. When you go visit your kids. Yeah. That's nice, right? She goes and visits her kids. You can say whatever you want. I know the truth. Let's get Period. to the crux of the story. Do you believe that David molested or abused no, her I children? Don't. Why do you think your daughter was suffocated? Because she got around chemicals. Around and how old was she at the time when she suffocated? Five months. And she was around chemicals. Why was anybody allowing a five-month-old baby to be around chemicals? You're on stage for like three minutes, right? And you just, you can't even tell the simplest of truths. I mean, you have no shame that you have eight kids and you don't have any of them. Other than cussing David out, after you found out your daughter told you that David sexually abused her, what did you do? I didn't believe her because of the other allegations she made. All right, first off, stop, stop talking about my wife like that, all right? She's a wonderful woman, all right? Full grown. Do you like physical things about her and you love her personality? I love physical, mental, um, How about her mothering skills? You love that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hey, they got to be pretty good because you don't have to do anything, so, you know. And you would know, wouldn't you? you would know. Um, why were you accused of abusing your uh, three or four or five month old daughter when she suffocated? She why was, were you accused? She was coughing up blood. Yeah, but why were you accused? Uh, I'm not understanding the question. You were accused of it, right. causing the suffocation. Why were you accused? Uh, if you're going to be a talk show host, you've got to be quicker than that, man. <laughs> Obviously, I took her to the damn hospital, did I not? Okay. I took her to the okay. hospital, stayed by her side until she so appeared. So now a nine year old girl says, This guy sexually abused me. What's the court system supposed to do? Wow. Two years together, can't get the story straight. Those kids, we love those kids to death. Because they can't defend themselves so much that they're obese, for themselves, right? that's what we're here for. And I'm going to tell you, Steve, the old me, I would have done something different in a different way. But no, I'm not going to do that. Maria took a lie detector test. And we asked her, do you know for sure that David physically abused any of your children? She answered no. Did you ever witness David have sexual physical contact with any of your children? She answered no. The results for Maria's lie detector test is that she told the truth. Uh, David came on, he took a lie detector test, and we broke it down to two sections, uh, abuse and molest. I'll read the abuse first. David was asked, did you injure your two-year-old child in any way? He answered no. Did you ever suffocate your two-year-old child? He answered no. The results came back to each question the same, and they came back that David did not tell the truth. <laughs> No, no chemicals. The only bad chemical that was in that car standing right there. Yeah. Then we asked your fiance, the father of your children, did you ever have physical contact with Maria's daughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. You took the same test. You told me you believe this test is very accurate. You took the test and you passed. This guy fails for torturing your baby. 
You're going to jail. I'm sorry. Not that I wish violence or abuse on anybody, but I think you're going to get a little taste of your own medicine in jail.